Hey everybody, welcome back again to another video. So we're going to be talking about Battlefield 2042. And so, so EA, how's it going? Serious? <laughs> like, the reason I'm laughing, the reason I'm laughing is because of how how much of a shit show it is. I just find it laughable that that EA you know, has proven itself to be <laughs> incompetent in time and time again. The reason I'm even talking about Battlefield 2042 is because of this news article that just came out the other day about the future of Battlefield. So let's get into it, shall we? This is from Eurogamer. DICE has learned valuable lessons from Battlefield 2042 disastrous release. Right, we've heard that before. The studio will be learning a lot of the changes were made in Battlefield 2042, according to an inside source. Thanks, Xfire! The next Battlefield game has already entered pre-production. Original plans to use 2042 as a foundation to build on has been scrapped. Oof. Oh boy. Anyway, there was also plans to pivot the franchise to a so-called hero shooter in line with comparisons such as Call of Duty and Overwatch. Yeah, that like that's what people want from Battlefield franchise, and 2042 just proved that no, that's what everything that Battlefield is again it shouldn't be. Anyway, it, they have also been conducting playtests focusing on the class system. According to, to playtesters, the specialist system in the next game will tie special roles to classes more closely. X-Fire also claims that the next Battlefield will also be set in the modern day future. Okay, well, let's talk about it. <sighs> wow, EA, like, how do you fuck this? Uh, alright, I'm about to go into a rant because this is so ridiculous that, you know, like, how do you fuck DICE? You have to be one of the most incompetent studios on the planet. Think about it. Ever since Battlefield 4, back in 2013, each DICE, major DICE release has has released with, with some sort of controversy. We know that's broken, or things aren't working. Well, broken and things aren't working at the same time. But, you know, d design decisions that people don't want, like 2042, for example. Lack of content. That's another thing with 2042. You know, and a whole bunch of other things, but... Oh, let's not forget the whole Me Too thing with Battlefield Five. Remember that? Remember that shit? That was a whole other shit show, too. It, like, how do you fuck this up? Say, like, oh my god. Like, how do you how do you fuck this up, DICE? Like, and let's not forget that EA tr refused to admit that they fucked up. They, they were throwing excuses that everything under the sun. They even tried to blame... A shooter that's free to play and and is not even a multiplayer in the first place. What does that tell you? And COVID too. So, I mean, the COVID excuse went out the window considering that Battlefield Five was developed under a uh, pandemic, and that's still and they still fucked up with that too. So the reason I'm kind of you can tell that I'm kind of I'm about to burst out laughing is because of how ridiculous you know EA is being like. How do you fuck this up? How do you fuck up so many freaking releases? You know, like, like I said, ever since Battlefield 4, I'm including that too. Sure, that game made a comeback, like Battlefield Battlefront 2, but it shouldn't have to be. It shouldn't have to be like this. You know what's even more crazier? That the first content drop for 2042, it's not even supposed to come to an early summer. Nearly a full year since Battle since 2042 released. That is horrible. Like, how is that, like, where's the live service that you, you, EA had audacity to say that DICE is pretty good at pivoting to live service? How is it, how is this pivoting good to a live service? How? Can somebody explain that to me? How? How is that possible? Like, how do they continue to fuck up so hard? And mark my words, I don't think 2042 is giving, I don't think 2042 is going to last, you know, two years. There's no way. There's no freaking way at this rate. Like, what little play left of the player base is going to come back? Like, it already has that uh, disastrous reputation. First impressions always matter. It always matters. Well, look at Halo Infinite. That's not, that's not exactly doing great either, as, as that already lost 95% of its player base, but Halo Infinite has a hell of a better chance of making a comeback than Battlefield does. Because at least Halo is actually playable. You know, in most aspects. Well, Battlefield 2042? Hell no. Map design sucked. 
the 128, uh, 28 players, like, did not benefit the game at all. Like, I'd argue in some aspects, depending on the map, it made it worse. Like, again, like, how do you, how do you fuck this up? Like, as someone who used to be a fan of Battlefield, I am just appalled by how poorly handled, you know, this franchise has been for the last several games in the franchise. Four and one were great, so, especially one, so. I think that was probably the best modern Battlefield game, you know, in recent years, so, and that was, what, six years ago, almost? And then, obviously, Battlefield 4, that, which was on 2013. Do you realize that? That those games have a better player count than, tw than the latest modern state-of-the-art battlefield game how like it, it th there's no way like the game was nowhere near ready like and it's the state of the game proves it and the fact that they're, they're not even getting any content until early summer who who's gonna stick around and play this when, the, when there's so many better options like out there like especially all the big players like fortnite and apex and warzone and all that who's a Fuck, it's gonna stick around to play a game, you know, that bombed at, at release. Like, that should have been delayed a full fucking year. Like, how? Here's another thing it didn't even have a scoreboard at launch. How could a multiplayer game not have a scoreboard at launch? That's like, that's like the whole Team Slayer thing with Halo Infinite. Like, how? I, 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 I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, it's it's so baffling and heartbreaking to me, like, how they mishandled the Battlefield franchise, man. Like, it's it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable and insane. Like, I sometimes I just can't put my mind around it. Like, how did they fuck this up so bad? I'd say DICE, DICE has to be easily the most incompetent first-person shooter, you know, studio. <laughs> Especially one who's been around for so freaking long. You know, especially for a series like Battlefield, it, it's still, it, it's crazy. You know, it's unbelievable. So, all right, I think I'm done. So, yeah, uh, to sum this video up, don't listen to EA. They're bullshitting you like they did, like, because they said the same thing after Battlefield 5 release. And no, nope, they didn't learn a god fucking damn thing. They said the same thing after Battlefront 2 launched too, but, uh, anyway, don't, don't listen to them. They're gaslighting you. Don't listen to them. Do, don't pay a fucking penny until actual user reviews of the next Battlefield game come out. Do not. Do not believe the hype. I hope you all remember this. Because if you... Because if you still don't... If you still don't listen, I don't know what to tell you at this point. DICE is so incompetent. They need to get their shit together. Real fast. Because there's way more options than freaking Battlefield. And I'm saying that to all... To all the big three, so you know. Anyway, well, that that's it for this video. So if you like, let's see. Hit that like button. Comment down below. What do you think of this? And and if you, you know, consider subscribing to the channel so you do not miss miss out any new content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.